The engines on the island of Sodor are really useful, reliable, and right on time. They are always busy and take great pride in their work. Engines from other railways enjoy visiting the island too. Stepney, who lives on the Bluebell Railway, especially loves to visit. He enjoys seeing his friends, and he especially enjoys getting the chance to take long trips down the main line. Stepney is a very hard-working engine, and often feels bored on his small railway. One day, the fat controller arrived to tell Edward the Blue Engine that he was to help Stepney run the new loop line. Edward was very excited to be working with Stepney. When Edward arrived at Tidmouth Bay Station, Stephanie was already there waiting for him. Hello, Edward, Stephanie puffed excitedly. It's very nice to see you again. Then, Stephanie told Edward that the Fat Controller had brought him to the island to help with the opening of a new line. I really do love it here, he sighed. If only my railway were as big and wonderful as yours. Just then, the station master walked up. Good, he said. You're both here. Now please, start work at once. The fat controller is counting on us. Yes, sir, the engines replied, and soon they were puffing along the new line with their passengers. They loved exploring the new line. The sun shone, and everything ran like clockwork. But a few days later, the weather changed. Fog and rain descended upon the island, and the engines found it difficult to complete their work. The fog is thick today, Edward warned, so please be careful. The tracks will be slippery and it will be hard to see. Stepney thanked Edward and shuffled away with his first train. Later, Stepney was making his way cautiously along the route. I must be careful, I must be careful, he said to himself. Stepney was on a new part of the line that day. As he rounded a bend, he came upon a red signal. Beyond it was an old rickety shed. Stepney suddenly felt a bit anxious. The shed looked a bit spooky. Suddenly, a loud growling noise came from the inside. Oh my, Stepney cried. He was very frightened indeed. So frightened, in fact, that he forgot all about Edward's warning. I've got to get out of here! As soon as the signal dropped, Stepney raced away as fast as his wheels could carry him. Edward was about to leave when Stepney came racing in. Oh my! Edward cried. Stepney skidded on the slippery rails, stopping just beyond the platform. Why did you come in so fast? Edward asked. Stepney was about to reply when he realized how silly it was to be scared of a shed. I'm sorry, he replied quickly. It won't happen again. Edward wasn't sure, but decided it best to say nothing. The weather was no better next morning. Edward watched anxiously. Please be more careful today, Stepney, he said. Thank you, Edward. I'll try, replied Stepney. Just then, a fat controller arrived. There were some well-dressed men with him. Stepney hadn't noticed that they had boarded his train. Stepney was making good time as he puffed down the line. Everything's going so well, he remarked to himself, but he'd spoken too soon. A thick blanket of fog suddenly descended, and Stepney's surroundings were hidden from view. Oh dear, thought Stepney nervously. Just then he heard it, the awful growling sound again, but the old shed was nowhere in sight. Oh no! Stepney cried, and without thinking he picked up speed. What he hadn't realized is that the shed was closer than he thought, though hidden by the fog. To make matters worse, when he tried to slow down, his wheels slid uselessly on the wet rails, and by the time he approached the bend in the track, it was too late.
Stephanie had run right off the rails and into the old shed. Luckily, no one was hurt. An exasperated voice greeted him. Do you mind? Stephanie observed his surroundings. There, in front of him, was an old steam lorry. She was looking most upset. I'm sorry, he said politely. I didn't mean to crash into your shed. That I was frightened by the most awful growling sound. That was me, you silly steamer, snapped Elizabeth. And Jim Cole has been trying to fix that awful ragged for weeks now. Just then, the fat controller appeared from one of the coaches and walked into the old shed. Stepney was most surprised to see him. Stepney, you have caused confusion and delay. Explain yourself. So Stepney explained everything. It was very silly of me to be scared. But, sir, why were you on my train? Well, Stepney, we need an engine to run this line permanently, he said pointedly. And the gentlemen of the railway board and I were going to ask if you wanted to do it. But after today, I think it's best if you stay on trial. And the fat controller walked away. Well, that's one way to make an exit, Elizabeth grunted. Stepney, however, didn't say a word. Elizabeth could tell he was upset. Oh, well, it was an accident, she said kindly. And there's always tomorrow. You'll get your chance. Just keep your chin up. And that made Stepney feel just a bit better.